everyone, welcome to Boat from Bricks. I'm Brian. And I'm Drew. And today we're talking about Lego Movie 2 sets, right? Yeah. Really cool set. We talked about the 19 other sets at one point, but this is the special, like... This is the really big one. It's huge. It's over 3,000 pieces, and I want to talk a little bit about it. Let's go look at it. So this is the Welcome to Apocalypseburg, and this thing is massive. Look at this. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you see this? Like, I'll tell you what I thought. I think the same thing. Planet I think we're the thinking Apes. the same thing. Yes, Planet of the Apes. Yeah. And a lot of the younger generation will have no idea. Or Spaceballs. Spaceballs? I don't see Spaceballs in this. At the end of it. I don't remember that. It becomes just like Planet of the Apes. Okay, so I forget. Planet of the I Apes forget. is what it's inspired by, but it's been done many times in many ways. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember that. I have to oh. watch Spaceballs again, apparently. I yeah. forget that part. I've seen Planet of the Apes a lot, so I remember this scene specifically. The end of the movie, you see the Statue of Liberty. I'm not going to say any more than that. But look at this thing. The other part that this reminded me of, and I saw one other person mention it, was Ready Player One. A little bit. Little because bit of the... Like it looks like stacks. Like the like the yeah. houses stack, the trailers yeah. that are stacked. So it comes with, I believe, was it 13 minifigures? Is that, is that how many? I believe it's 13. We'll take a look in a second, but let's take a look. So this is the front, and we have the Coffee Unchanged, which I believe is a take on Django Unchained, which was a animated movie, right? Is that the animated movie? No! I'm thinking of something else. This one not for kids! Oh! At all! Then what am I thinking of? Um... What's that lizard-looking guy? I thought he was part of that. No? I'm thinking of something no. else. No! No, I know what you're talking about. That's Rango. Oh, that's Rango! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a kid's... The, no. Oh. No. Then I don't know why. It's called Coffee Unchained. Yeah. Because it's not a chain restaurant, maybe? Maybe. But you have Emmett running out the door there with his $37.5 coffee, I believe it is. Let's take a look at the back of the box. <laughs> there we go. So the back, it's got a lot of playability features. I, I know some people have talked about this and said, well, there's no back to it. I'm like, well, it's it's it's, a, it's supposed to be playable. Right, it's this big ladder. Big ladder, you can climb up there. We have Emmett and Lucy at the top with the torch. I do like the way they did the torch. There probably isn't a back to it. That's probably how it's all open. I mean, all of those things are like those little things like the like the stacks. They're all little individual buildings. Oh, yes, they are. So it's not but like they need to be closed up in any way. This part here, on the side here, we have the green flat, like the sand green wall. Yeah, and I guess that's like the part of it. Pipes yeah. and stuff like that. There's, yeah, I guess you're you know, right. It's, it's not... It's not that it needs to be enclosed, because all the individual buildings are enclosed. True, true, true. Yeah. So you're right, it is enclosed in the back. So it, someone had said it's open. I guess these little, maybe they were talking about these little, kind of look like porch areas below the ladder. Yeah, they're you just see roofs those, of the other buildings. Roofs of the other buildings, yeah. you're right. So I, I like yeah. it. I think it looks really cool. It wouldn't fit in my city, no. but definitely something to display, and people can come in and be like, wow, look at that. That's nice looking. And, and then the amount of figures that it comes with. So it comes with all these figures. We have, they're calling a scribble cop. Yeah. <laughs> not not bad cop, good cop anyway, Scribble Cop. And if you saw the first movie, you know why Scribble Cop. Right, exactly. And we have Larry the Barista, and he was in the first movie, but he didn't look so hardcore. No, not at all. I don't know who Fuse was. I don't know, he must be new to the second movie. Maybe. Where Are My Pants Guy? Nope. Well, he was obviously in the first one, but it looks Doesn't like look everybody's happy gone... happy there. No, everybody's gone hardcore. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's happening in the Lego movie too, but nobody's this, happy. This is bad stuff. Roxy. Who's Roxy? Yeah. I'm not sure. So there's five. Yep. And Chainsaw Dave, who was Surfer Dave in the first movie. Yes, he was Surfer Dave. Yep. And in, if you saw the box previously, you saw he had a surfboard in he one does. of the pictures. Right. Too. I said I pointed out he had a surfboard and a chainsaw. I'm like, what's that guy? And then when we looked at the name, it's like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And then we have Mohawk. Yep. And then uh, Harley Quinn, and it looks like they're Suicide Squad gear. It definitely does. Her yeah. hair is white as opposed to being yellow, but otherwise mm -hmm. it looks a lot like the Suicide Squad version. Yep. And then, of course, we have Token, uh, token Green Lantern, because he's just making fun of himself. Okay. They'll never live it, like, he's never gonna live that movie down. It was just, oh, yeah. That's why okay. they're doing that. I mean, it's funny, because it's not even him, like, it's not Ryan Reynolds. Batman. It's gonna bug me the whole time. It is. Yeah. Batman next. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is a cool Batman. He's got the tires on his uh, shoulder pads. Yep. Yeah. Just and then... look more bad. <laughs> Everybody's mad. Yep, Lucy. Actually, Lucy looks the happiest out of all of them, and that makes no sense. She looks exactly the same. She looks the same as the first one. She wasn't that happy before either. She was never happy, no. Yeah. But Lucy's in this as well, and then not showing is Emmett is also uh, Emmett's also in the 
yeah. in the box somewhere. And like I said, he's got his coffee. I think that covers right, all of them. He's getting his two coffees from the uh, trailer. So overall, I mean, it looks like an amazing set. Very dystopian, if you like the, the, the dystopian type cities. Well, that, the whole beginning of the movie looks like it's, it's set in this dystopian area. And they said after the fall of Bricksburg, you know, oh yeah, because Duplo took over, right? Is that why? Is it? Is that what it was? We don't really. Know I don't know. Exactly. It says we, we, we are Duplo. We are here to destroy you, and this is says welcome to Apocalypseburg. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah, that was at the yeah at the end. Yeah, we are Duplo. We are here to destroy you because, well, you know, as we know, the the dad you know got rid of the craggle. And he did. Decided that you know he could play, and now since the son could play, the daughter could play too, and the daughter was obviously of the Duplo age. Exactly. <laughs> and so, that's uh, not the best idea, Dad. <laughs> How old is the daughter in that? Probably I mean, four. Wouldn't you think that if he had like a conniption over his son even playing nicely with these things and making things, that he's really going to be able to not shake when the daughter comes down who's four years old? Oh, yeah. I yeah. Can't, I, I'm hoping I they can't, do... I can't imagine that not happening. I'm hoping they do another live, a li like, another live scene with, with Will Ferrell again and everything. I'm not sure yeah. what the plan is for that, but... Yeah, yeah I'm excited about the set. I know you're not buying these sets, but... And no, I, I mean, I, I just can't... I can't justify where to put them and uh, the amount of money to spend on them myself. Yep. So understood. But I think we don't have a price point for this yet. I'm gonna guess two hundred to two fifty. Yeah. I'm thinking one ninety nine or two forty nine is my guess. Yes. I don't think it's gonna be like three hundred dollars. I think it'll be less. Oh there is a lot of new well it's not new pieces but sand green pieces in there which mm -hmm. I seem tend no like I don't see any like weird pieces that are unusual or no. like large pieces besides these these pieces which are on the they kinda look like TIE Fighter nose pieces. I don't know what you call that piece there. They're like wings and stuff. Too. Wings and stuff, yeah. which is just in a different yeah. color, but no, um, I think... Well, it is one of LEGO's properties, so they don't have to pay like a license. Oh, true, for true, true. Fee for it because it's their property, so it's going to be lower than, say, an Avengers set or something like that. But you are getting that 11 minifigures or so, and you, so... You are, but, you know, you're still... That shouldn't bump it up so much... To a, to a licensed set. True. Yeah. Well, I hope this set comes out January 1st is what I think the rumors I've seen are. And that would make sense. It comes out a month before the movie with all the other sets that are coming out. Some smaller stuff starting to appear in Walmart now. But let us know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube at Built From Bricks. As well as our monthly live stream, which will be on Thursdays at 6 p.m. We are moving from a weekly live stream to just once a month. Um, it'll be announced ahead of time which week it is. It's probably not going to be the same week each month. But thanks for watching. What have you, you built, built today? today?